This video will show you how to get a free Google Voice phone number so you don't have to use your personal phone number when entering sweepstakes. Note you will need an active phone number to sign up for a free Google Voice number. This is for verification purposes to record your greeting and to forward incoming messages. Also note that the information in this video is current as the recording of this video, but Google may update things in the future. You can access Google Voice from any computer, smartphone, or tablet. There is even a free Google Voice app you can use to make it even more convenient. You can place calls, send texts, and view your messages right from the app, all for free. Hi, my name is Wendy, but most people call me Sweetie. I run SweetieSweeps.com where I help people just like you win cash and prizes from sweepstakes and giveaways. My motto is, win what you can't afford. Make sure you also sign up for my free Sweeping 101 ebook so you can get started winning today. The link is in the description box below. And please subscribe to my channel to learn skills and get tips that will help you win more cash and prizes. Make sure you tap the bell icon to get notifications when new videos are available. In this video, you will learn how to get a free Google Voice phone number, how to access your Google Voice messages, how to record a voice message, and how to get email notifications when you get a call. Now grab your computer, phone, or tablet and follow along to set up your Google Voice phone number and test it out. First, you're going to set up a free Google account. If you have one already, you can visit google.com and sign in to your account. And if you don't, you can still go to google.com to sign up for a free account. To sign up for an account, you're going to input your email, your current email address, or this is if you wanted to log into your Google Voice. And to create an account, you tap the link or click the link at the bottom to get started. You're going to put your name and give yourself a username, password, and your birth date. Make sure you fill all of these fields out to create your account. To access Google Voice and to sign up for a free number, you're going to do this. If you're logged into your Google account, you can tap the nine square icon and then tap voice from the menu. You can also go to google.com slash voice to access it. Now let's get our free Google Voice phone number. You can also download the free app to get started to create your Google Voice phone number. This is the menu that you're going to be presented with when you go to google.com forward slash voice. You're going to type a city and it could be any city and state. It doesn't have to be where you live. It could be anywhere in the country. And that decides what uh, area code that the phone number will use. And you'll be presented with all kinds of phone numbers from the list, but if you don't like the phone number that they offer, you can hit the tap the load more and they will present you with another list. If you don't like any of them, you can start over. You may have to refresh the screen to start over. When you are presented with the phone number, you select it. And now you're going to have to hit send code and use your real phone number to verify the new Google Voice phone number. When you get your verification phone number by text, this is where you will input it on the screen and then you tap verify. Now, how do you find what your new Google, new Google Voice, Voice phone number is in the Google Voice screen? So once you are logged into google.com slash voice, tap the menu, which is the three bars at the top left, and then scroll down or it should be at the top. Your voice, your Google Voice number will be at the top there under phone number. And it will show that the phone number, your real phone number, that is linked to it. And you can add other ones as well. You can change it and add other ones. How to find your Google Voice messages. S the same settings. Go to the three bar menu. Scroll down until you tap the voice mail icon. And you'll see a welcome Google Voice message once you sign up. You can read it on the screen and you can also listen to it. You can tap the menu at the top right and get other options to archive, block, download, or delete messages. And mark as spam as well. 
how to record a Google Voice message. Select the menu again, and now you're going to scroll down until you see Legacy Google Voice. At the time of the recording of this video, they're still using their old setup, but they may change, so make sure you look for that option in the future. This will take you to a new screen, and you're going to then tap the gear at the top right, tap Settings, tap the Voicemail and Text menu, and then you'll see the Record New Greeting. This is where you can also play your, your message. You're going to give your greeting a name or just use the My Greeting. And this is if you want to have multiple greetings. And tap Continue. <clears throat> your phone will ring. Your, the, voice, the phone that you used as your secondary phone, your real phone number. And you, when you are ready to record your greeting, you can tap connect or click connect, depending on if you're using your phone, tablet, or your computer. So back on this screen again, this is where you play. You can re-record, rename, delete your recordings. You will want to add a voicemail pin. Because because you can also change your greeting by calling your Google Voice number from your regular phone number, your cell phone or your landline. When your greeting begins, you're going to press star to access the menu, enter your pin, tap the pound sign, and follow. continue to follow these steps. Tap four and then tap one to create a custom greeting or tap two for the standard. But it will walk you through once you uh, call the number. So how to get Google Voice notifications in Gmail. You're going to go back to the menu in google.com slash voice. Scroll down to voicemail. And then enable the button to forward the message to the email. The email that you're going to be able to send it to is the email that you are logged in to for this Google account. All right, and that's it. That's how simple it is to get a Google Voice number. And now you will be able to know when people are calling you when you've won a prize from a sweepstakes. And you can keep it totally separate from your regular phone number, and no one has to know your regular phone number. Happy sweeping, everyone.